Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a lake, a mountain, a sky, a cloud, we've got pretty much everything uh, that we would want. Set up your tents, let's get ready because my god would this ever be a great place to go camping. My goodness, I mean, this is absolutely a perfect place now that being said i mean without the lens flare and stuff like that maybe this wouldn't look so magical but uh you know what i really like the look of it where in the world do i think this is that's what it's all about right now i think uh you know what we're gonna go for the obvious choice we're gonna go for um i really think we're in denali i don't really think we are actually mm, no i don't think we are uh what about this national forest right here we're gonna go a little bit uh, south of anchorage the answer was south of that for sure. We were in uh, Stein Valley Heritage Park. Oh, there you go. Uh, right, w right off the uh, right away from Vancouver. My God, there you go. 1948. Hopefully, some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location on the right path. Is that a good joke? No? Well, there's a path over here, and it leads us to what looks like a very cool area. A secluded beach? Well, it's not really that much of a beach. It doesn't have any sandy shores. I guess you could still call it a beach, but really, I don't know if you want to necessarily go swimming here. But hey, if you like uh, taking a look over at the ocean, seeing a big island in the distance, menacing-looking skies, and uh, big open wilderness, then uh, this is the place for you. Uh, now, this is today's daily challenge, which does mean that it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are all you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below tell me where in the world you think this is and in tomorrow's videos comment section i announce the winner the person that guesses closest now there are no prizes but there is glory to be won so if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser then tell me where in the world do you think we are right now all right, here we are in the main section of today's video and today we've got a viewer challenge viewer challenge brought to us by Someone new to sending in challenges, that would be Michael. Thank you so much, Michael, for sending this one in. Uh, now, Michael didn't want their full name revealed on uh, the screen, so there you go. Thanks so much for sending this one in, and there you go. So if you have been holding off on sending in a challenge, and you've just been, you know, because you didn't want your name revealed, or your username, or whatever it is, then uh, don't worry, I accommodate that as well. Now, if you are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the description below. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you'll find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. Now, this one, I was going to say it has a theme of... Oh, uh, okay, okay, it does. The theme is Central Australia, I believe it was. I believe the theme was Central Australia, although... Looking over here, I don't really, really think we're that much in the center of Australia. I mean, it really depends what central Australia means. I don't think this is Alice Springs. And, you know, maybe like, you know, maybe Canberra counts as central because it's, you know, not on the coast. But hey, there you go. All right. So let's go and uh, check this place out. Pizza Doro. Okay. We are definitely in Australia. But that's about the extent to which I know. And if I had to guess, I would say I, I would say I would say Canberra's a, a decent choice. Although looking around, I feel like we're actually in like Adelaide. Oh well, there you go, Adelaide. That is the answer. We are indeed in Adelaide. Maybe it was Southern Australia. Maybe Southern Australia was the theme. That is at Central, but. I don't know, but I just thought central, that'd be like the center. Of the, maybe it said southern. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, we're going to find out what the theme is. It's something about Australia. Maybe it's just plain old Australia. Adelaide, what a nice city this is. Look at this. It's a good-looking city. I always found it interesting how, uh, like, the bus stops and stuff like that are just in the middle of the road. I just found that strange. Uh, but there you go. I mean, maybe that's a common thing. Maybe that happens here as well, right? I mean, it could. It could kind of happen here as well, but, uh, like, not the bus stops, but, like, the, because uh, the bus stops are uh, indeed on the, the far sides of the road, um, which, you know, that's what I would expect, but the middle over here for the, like, train lines, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, that's probably, it's probably the same thing in other cities that drive on the uh, right-hand side of the road, but that have, like, trains and trams and things like that, I'd say so, but, uh, I mean, looking around Adelaide, 
it's a good looking city. You know, it's it's pretty. The area that's nice is pretty big, which is good. It's always disappointing when uh you know when you go to a nice city like that, but the area that's nice is uh is really small. Or maybe that's a good thing. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. But one of the things that I can tell you is that that is definitely the case with the city that I live in now. Uh, the area, I mean, it's not that small, but it could be better uh, by quite a bit. The area that's, like, nice and worth visiting is not really that big. Uh, so there you go. Adelaide is indeed the answer. Where are we? Do I think we're in this little square here? I hope so. Let's make the guess, and the answer was... Okay, well, it's not really that big when you think about it. Is the rest called Adelaide? I guess so. I wonder what's the story behind this. So this right over here, I mean, I guess this is the area worth visiting, right? I mean, look at it. It's like uh, surrounded by a park. What a cool city. I mean, this area over here might be pretty cool as well. North Adelaide. I wonder what goes on here. Wow. Interesting. 64, 69. All right. Well, where are we now? We are maybe in southern Australia, maybe not. We still really haven't figured out the theme, but if I had to make a guess, I don't really know where I would actually guess. Uh, dry zone? Is this a, uh, we are, oh, okay. Well, let's just keep moving then. We are in a dry zone. There's a, there's a McDonald's over here, which is nice. Anything interesting going on at the McDonald's? Uh, no. There's, there really, really isn't uh, anything interesting going on at, uh, at the McDonald's. You, you don't see any signs. There's no, like, Catholic Church. That's the name of the street. All right. Uh, there's no, like, uh, you know, it's always interesting to see the, what, what the McDonald's is selling over in Australia. I mean, that would be nice, right? But clearly... Uh, it's not selling anything interesting. How much is gas in Australia? Jesus. Is, is there, is there like, is diesel half the price of gas? Uh, if it is, that's crazy. My God. I mean, if that's like, I mean, maybe this is, is $89.99 Australian dollars is a pretty good price for diesel. Be honest, I think I think diesel right now is going for like a one oh between one oh five and one ten, something like that. And I mean Canadian dollar kind of sucks right now, so the Australian dollar is probably higher than the Canadian dollar right now. Let's 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 find out. Let's find out. Let's bust out my trusty phone. A U S to C A D. I bet you the Australian dollar is better than the Canadian dollar. One Australian dollar is. So that means that one Canadian dollar. Okay, no, the Australian dollar is not higher than Canadian dollar. I guess, uh, I guess the Australian dollar has has dipped as well, or is it just the American dollar doing really well? Oh, that's it's so annoying. Let me tell you, planning trips to America is a is a lot more annoying now that the Canadian dollar sucks again. I mean, come on, what is this like twenty years ago? Uh, but there you go. So I mean, all that being said. I mean, geez, it's, it's pretty, I mean, if that's diesel price, that's really good. If that's regular, like, gas price, that's really, really good. But, um, all right, what do we got here? What did, what did that say? Something about hobbies, okay. So we got hobbies over there. What is, oh, I thought that was the, oh, it is the water. Okay, so it is the water, and the water is, well, the, the beach goes on a, a, a long way. What is this? Um, what do people call this? Bocce ball? What's the other name for this? It starts with a P. Something like that, right? I forget. There's another name that people call that. Or maybe this is a completely different activity than I think it is. It, it might be a completely different activity than I think it is. I'm thinking of... I don't know what I'm thinking of, I'll be honest with you. But there you go. I mean, this looks like a really nice place as well. This is... um. Alright, what's another city in Southern Australia? Port Augusta? Is that another? Port Lincoln? Port Augusta. All right. Wow, there you go. Um, border Village? Do I, re I don't think we're there. So, 
I guess I'm going to go with Port Lincoln here because that seems to make a little bit more sense. The answer was no, not quite. We were in Victor Harbor. Victor Harbor. All right. 2680. What have we got here? Ice. Polts. Dining experience. Holdfast Bay. All right. So we are in a place that may or may not be called Holdfast Bay. Uh, there's a there's a McDonald's over here as well, which it's not particularly interesting. But whatever this place is, I mean, first of all, that green car, look at that. That's crazy. Um, also, water slides, stuff like that. This looks like a really interesting place. It's got a water slide, a Ferris wheel, some nice trees. Man, Australia is a beautiful country. There you go. Is it too hot? Would I find it too hot? I probably would. I mean, I find it too hot right now. And it's like, it's probably like 14 degrees Celsius outside. Uh, not really. That's that's not true. It's, it's way hotter in this room than it is outside for whatever reason. Uh, because I live in an apartment building and uh, the building controls the heating. Now, I have some control over it, but not nearly as much as I would like. Oh, it still heats up like crazy. That's what happens when you live on uh, a high floor in an apartment building. The heat just all comes up here. Nothing you can do about it. Have the windows wide open. The heat doesn't escape. No, no. I don't know why. This is, uh, this is a, a high-pressure system. So all the, all the heat's going out. It's not coming in. No air can come in because uh, the pressure in here is higher than it is outside or something like that. I don't know how it works, okay? You can get a free cheeseburger with a large, with a large soft drink purchase. Well, let me tell you, I think the size of a large soft drink is very different than the size of a large soft drink here, perhaps. Because let me tell you, if you are getting a cheeseburger at McDonald's and purchasing a large soft drink, uh, then uh, you've got your priorities wrong. I mean, I guess a lo I mean, I guess it's cheap, right? A large drink is pretty cheap, but I mean, seriously, a large soft drink. I mean, that's a lot of drink. In a cheeseburger, that's really small at uh, at McDonald's as well. So, I don't know. It just seems uh, seems like an unbalanced meal to me. Where do I think this is? I'll be honest. This is going to be somewhere nice and fancy. I don't know where, uh, but probably not Murray Bridge. What about... Uh, what about about like up here Barker's Inlet North Haven no I don't think it's going to be anywhere around there what what about Port Lincoln Boston Island Port Lincoln seems pretty big maybe we'll be here this time maybe this time will be the right one I really don't know where we are because I don't really know if this is a uh I don't really know if this is a Southern Australia themed challenge. Because I didn't look. I thought it was a Central Australia themed challenge. Well, I guess Port Lincoln's a big city. So it's what I'm going to guess. We did see water, right? No, it was just still, still right near Adelaide. Maybe this is just an Adelaide themed challenge. I mean, the other place wasn't really Adelaide, but it kind of was. I mean, no, not really. It, okay, that I'll, I'll give Victor Harbor's pretty not Adelaide, but that is. I'll count that as Adelaide. I don't know. Maybe it's not. You know, city technically could be, could have ended twenty-seven fifteen. All right. Northern Land Council. Okay, but we're still in the southern part of the country. Hilton in Darwin. Oh, maybe this. Oh, I see. Maybe Central just means North and South. You know, not any one of these guys, and not Western. Just North and South, because they are in the middle. If you look at it like uh, like that, well, that makes a lot of sense. No, oh, all right, all right, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Well, thank God I wasn't like three billion miles off then in some of my guesses. All right, so we've got uh, build with pride, sun build. So let's go check out Darwin. Darwin looks different than the cities uh, that were down south. I'll say that uh, there's much. It's much more palmy. And I'm guessing Darwin is substantially hotter than uh, than than the other places are. Like I'm guessing, you know, Hobart is probably a nice, cool place somewhere down over in uh, down over in Tasmania. I don't know if it's that cold. It's probably pretty humid. 
You know, I don't know if it snows. It probably does. It might. I don't know if it probably does. It might. I mean, it snows in quite a few other places in Australia. But I don't know, like, how much snow accumulates there in uh, in the winter. Like, a lot? Would you would you, would it be very snowy, or is it like, eh, no. It snows a bit once in a while. Snows like it snows in Texas. I mean, probably more than it snows in Texas. But it does snow in Texas. So we're in Darwin, and we're slowly just leaving the city, aren't we? Yeah, we're just we're we're leaving it. All right, let's. Well, we know where we are. We are in uh, we're in Darwin, the great city. Let's make the guess, and the answer was yes, indeed, sixty two ninety six. And finally, well, I'll be honest. I, I don't know. I don't know where we are. the The ground is really moist and wet, so it clearly rained. You know, so I know what rain is. Alice Springs is that no this doesn't look like Alice Springs we went by Alice Springs the other day no we didn't we went by uh, Cooper Petty the other day that was different looking this could be Alice Springs it is very in the middle so we got that uh, Brighton all right where we, we might be in okay we're in a place called Brighton so in a place called Brighton let's go on the road do we see Brighton is it around here? The answer is it might be, but no one really knows. I mean, I'm sure someone does, but but I don't. All right, let's go down. Brighton. You know, if it were if the challenge were trying to find Brighton in the UK, I'd be a little bit better at that. Mount Gambier. Port Lincoln, Stakes Bay. All right. So I don't know where this is. That's what I'm learning is I don't know where we are. But there is food land right there. That's where you get uh, that's where you get your food. You get at the food land, specialty shops, Brighton Central. Well, I mean, I get it. We're in a place called Brighton. But where is Brighton? These are all good questions, answers will eventually come but no one knows when charlie's diner all you can eat in brighton you get uh, you can get some uh, enhance you can get traditional italian cuisine over there there's even century 21 for your real estate needs i mean there's pretty much everything you would ever want uh no mcdonald's in fact we saw a lot of mcdonald's and the other places but uh, over here in Brighton, they seem to have said, no, no, we don't want our your large drinks and cheeseburgers. We want traditional Italian cuisine and other things, specialty shops and about like one food land on every corner. I mean, everyone needs food, right? So don't really blame them. Caltex. It's interesting that that gas company is there. I mean, it's also interesting that BP is there. Not really. I mean, Shell is like a worldwide company. What country do I think Shell is from? I really don't know. <laughs> well, what country? Uh, I think they pay zero taxes in whatever country they're from. Uh, so, where do I think Shell is from? Either they're from some kind of tax haven, uh, but let's call it Switzerland. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Shell, Shell Gas Company. Where do I think they're from? Let, let's let's look this up. Shell. Oh, come on, Shell uh, Wiki. There you go. Oh, Dutch. That's right. I knew that. Well, you know they they there's no there there is no way that they that they pay any. Any taxes to the Netherlands? No, I mean they, they might. You never know, but uh, it's the kind of company I would I would expect to to be like, oh no, we, you know Royal Dutch Shell. Sure, that's what we call ourselves. Uh, but um, well, you know we're not uh, we're not actually based here. Uh, we've got uh, some you know some tricky maneuvering. But hey, you know what? I, I'm just projecting what I think gas companies do. Although you know Shell, you know it's not like they've always received positive press. Where the hell is this place? Where is this Brighton? Nobody knows. Is Brighton just a fancy name for Port Augusta? I don't think it is. 
I have no idea where this is. And if I look around, I don't see it. I, yeah, I, I just really, really don't see it. So we're going to call it in the middle. We're going to say we're in Alice Springs. Even though I really don't think we're, oh, we're just, it's just Adelaide. Oh, it's just south of Gel, Gel, Gengel. Well, okay, there you go. So we weren't, we weren't, we were just near Adelaide yet again. Ah, oh, classic. 2083. Oh, would you look at that? That was a good challenge. Oh, look at that. A lot of places around Adelaide started off in the big center of Adelaide. Then we went to Victor Harbor. Then we went to uh, Glenleg. Uh, then we went to Darwin, all the way up top, and then back over here. Finally, ending off in Brighton, twenty-two forty-three. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Oh yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one.